We just got some big Star Wars news recently. Dave Filoni has received a big promotion. Dave has been promoted to Chief Creative Officer. His role prior to this was Executive Creative Director, and now his position is going to allow him to work even more closely with CEO Kathleen Kennedy. This is huge news, and Dave will now have the ability to be involved in the actual creation of projects from the very beginning, the inception, if you will. In the past, Dave would get involved with projects that were already well into development. Now, this is what makes it a notable promotion and a very important move for the franchise as a whole, not just Dave Filoni. I know some people are not going to like this move because they think Dave Filoni is overrated and that he only cares about his character, Ahsoka. Personally... I think this is a great move for the future of Star Wars. The franchise is in a bad place right now. Viewership numbers are down. Excitement is down. There's a lot of content coming and going in all sorts of directions. The franchise has lacked a focused vision, especially ever since Disney Plus came out a few years ago and they got all excited to make all these different shows in different time periods and about different characters. We really need something that's going to turn this ship around. And personally, I think Dave Filoni is just the person to do that. And I'll explain why in today's video. So Dave Filoni has basically been given the rank of Jedi Master. He's finally on Lucasfilm's Jedi Council. He will be in the same room for sure now with all the other shot callers at Lucasfilm, including President Kathleen Kennedy and Carrie Beck, who he's worked with on other projects and who she specifically is the executive vice president for live action development and production. I've always rooted for Dave Filoni to get more say, to get more power, and there's a few reasons why. First and foremost, George Lucas brought him in back in the day and they together developed the animation department which brought us Clone Wars. Dave worked closely with George, almost like his right-hand man, so he knows the most about George's vision for Star Wars, which is basically the whole essence of the franchise. Look, I won't sit here and say Dave Filoni is perfect, he's far from it, especially in regards to some of the live action he's been a part of. I think you can argue though that it isn't really his fault if he wasn't in the meeting room when these ideas were being brought to fruition. But anyways, I just want a passionate Star Wars fan to be in charge, and that's what I think he is. I don't want political agendas fueling the ideas for shows, I want characters that are made for the sake of good storytelling, and not just to sell thousands of toys for millions of dollars. I want a non-corporate person to have the loudest voice in the room, and Dave essentially does, outside of Kathleen Kennedy. And Dave is of course being Dave about it, he said this in his interview with Vanity Fair, I'm not telling people what to do, but I do feel I am trying to help them tell the best story that they want to tell. I need to be a help across the galaxy here, like part of a Jedi Council almost. Dave has always come off as a nice guy, and that's cool. I don't want him to be a jerk and turn into a dictator, but I also hope he does rule with some authority. Hell, I hope he is very vocal in this new position. Personally, I don't understand why now he's going to be allowed to be involved in the creation of new projects like from the beginning. I don't expect Dave to write and direct every show and movie going forward, but he does need to have the authority to say, yes, we will make a show on this, and no, it will not be written like that. I'd love for Dave to bring in other talented writers, directors, and producers from around the industry. If you want to get back to making serious content for Star Wars and really bring in the fans, then we need top-notch storytelling. I don't care if it's a movie, a trilogy, or even a show. We need content that is not so damn controversial. I want to see more shows like Ahsoka, Tales of the Jedi, and even The Mandalorian, specifically the first two seasons. Can we please explore more of the mythical elements of Star Wars, like the origin of the Force, how the light and dark users, you know, formed the Jedi and the Sith? Can we get more creatures and mythical beings, too? And we have seen bits and pieces of this kind of stuff in the live-action shows and also in some of the animated stuff. However, I want more, and I know I should. This is the kind of stuff Dave should be doing, and it's okay that he isn't the greatest writer or director in the world like people think, because, well, that's why you build up a better team of writers and directors. I'm sorry, but I don't want the Taika Waititi movie that's supposedly gonna piss off the fan base like he said recently. That guy has taken forever to even write the film that he's trying to come up with. I know fans are crazy, some have good reasons to be, and then there's others that just like to complain 24-7 because things don't go their way or they're not getting the stories that they want to see. Regardless of who is at fault, just make good content. I'd love to see Dave Filoni work with Tony Gilroy after Andor. Andor is a solid show, but I've never liked the fact that Andor was that one show for whatever reason that got all the special attention and resources to be created. I, I'm stunned that 
even fans think this is the best piece of Star Wars ever when it's missing so many elements of what Star Wars is and not just the generic, you know, show or story in space. What if Dave could bring in writers from Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon? What about bringing aboard the guys from The Last of Us? Let's get some solid storytellers that can create serious shows for a more mature audience. Because it's the older fans that are the ones that are mad anyways. Give us more content with a serious tone. And at the end of the day, just stories that are interesting, that are good, that are emotional, and again, aren't filled with so much damn controversy. Dave can provide the contextual groundwork, aka Star Wars themes and knowledge, and help guys like Craig Mazin, Neil Drunkman, David Benioff, and D.B. Weiss handle the rest. I mean, personally, I'd love a Star Wars show with Game of Thrones vibes. Maybe something involving the Jedi Council, a political drama with top-notch dialogue, something that is not just another mindless action-adventure story with, again, my favorite word of the day, is controversy. When I look back at everything that has been made, I don't disagree with it. I think all of these projects were a good idea. The Boba Show seemed like a great idea to expand the lore and the information and storytelling on Boba. The Kenobi Show was an awesome idea, especially since they were able to bring back the legendary cast members. I don't think everybody working on a project has to be a huge Star Wars nerd. Some people like the gatekeep. I really don't want to be a gatekeeper, and, and really I think there are ways of getting around having people that aren't, you know, comic book nerds when it comes to Star Wars. And this is where I think it's extremely important to have Dave involved because, again, he could be there to provide the knowledge to guide them with the Star Wars themes as they go out there and do their work. After reading articles and reading his interviews and his quotes, like, I really can't believe he wasn't, prior to this promotion, given the opportunity to work in the creation process of these shows right away, even as the executive creative director. I didn't realize there was really another creative director, executive creative role. I thought like this was supposed to be it. But I'm glad Dave Loki exposed that in his interview with Vanity Fair because I think that's very telling of what's going on in the upper management of Lucasfilm. And here's the quote specifically. Now I'm what's called Chief Creative Officer of Lucasfilm. In the past, in a lot of projects, I would be brought into it. I would see it after it had already developed a good ways. In this new role, it's opened up to basically everything that's going on. When we're planning the future of what we're doing now, I'm involved at the inception phase. At the end of the day, I'm just glad that there isn't another corporate guy getting this position. It's time for passion and care to make a return in Star Wars content. Bob Iger continues to talk about Disney's new focus on quality over quantity. And that's definitely true for Star Wars, it needs it badly. But it also needs a more concise vision. There needs to be a legit plan in place to get Star Wars back up to respectable standards. I do think Dave Filoni at least deserves a shot at doing this. Let me know your thoughts on Dave Filoni's promotion. Do you approve? Or would you have chosen somebody else? I'm curious to know what you guys think. And if you do say no, who would you pick? Well, thanks for checking out the video. Go check out the rest of my channel if you're new here, and heck, maybe consider subscribing. You can also find my content on podcasting platforms. Just Google Analyze This Podcast. You can find me on X and TikTok as well, X at Analyze This underscore YT, and TikTok at Analyze This 54 underscore YT. Thanks again, and take care.